Oh, we're going to start working with WeVideo, and I want to introduce you to some of the basic steps in opening up and getting started with WeVideo. Please pay close attention, but you are welcome to come back and watch this video again if you need to. <coughs> Excuse me. If you'll first come up here and instead of doing the sign up, just click on login. And then here at the center of the page, you want to log in with Google. Now this is the beginning or opening page of WeVideo and everybody's going to look a little different. I've done several videos with WeVideo so you're going to see some of the things I've created and some of these things I will be sharing with you. Some of it you'll be working on your own. <clears throat> some other things to look at though is some of your used storage and used time. You need to pay close attention to this limitation. Right now, mine looks very large, but it's because as an instructor, I have different rights and access than you as a student. And that may affect us also as we go through the tools and options later on. Get user guide and manage account. These are other things that may help you. As you can see, it's opening up and they're giving you a, a manual. You may want to take some time and go through that because there's a lot of things in there that I may not cover, but they could be very helpful for you. Also, manage account. That's where we could go in and adjust some things, but again, I don't think you'll need to do that. Going back, however, this is a startup, and this is where I can view my projects and see the different things that I've done. I can even come down here if I have more, and you can see that there's several more that I have on here. We're going to work a lot with this, so pay close attention. We will mainly right now be working with Create New. Before we start that, let's look here at the next tab, which is Projects. Again, I may have a project in which I'm using many different videos. And you can see here, Lesson 1, Aquarium, Your Name. We're going to start out doing a lot with an aquarium. So we're going to work with this a lot here. Pay close attention. If you do not have that, don't worry, we'll get that set up media now this is a good way of having folders and things set up in here i have several folders that i've used to introduce new teachers and staff but also things such as rules for chromebook there's so many different things i have in here the folders will also just summarize where i've even got it broken down even more the folders are a good way to keep it organized so that you don't lose your work be very careful, people. Do not delete anything. You will be amazed at what you may need or find useful, so don't delete it. Apologize for the interruption. Okay, this is my media, and this is where I keep my files that I'm not sharing or working with another group or students. If I go down here and click on shared with anyone, now these are the items that are shared with everyone to work with. Please remember, these, this information is being scanned and shared, so keep it school appropriate. Some of it will relate to other campuses or um, classrooms, but again, be respectful. Don't interrupt or mess with something that is not your work. I'm looking at something that is available to me as a teacher you may have some things like this, you may not. I may, uh, will try to share some things with you to work in this, so this is something you need to look for. If we go to the next tab, which is video, <clears throat> this is the videos that you're working with, my videos, all videos, and then edit gallery. Again, we'll look at that with you as a, as a student, and that way I can better uh, direct you. Um, I do want to go back and look at the media, though. I overlooked some tools here to the top. These are filters, ways to sort and list or find your information. So whatever suits you, but using the filter or to place things by name or date, that may help you find some of your work faster. Videos and then admin. This is where you can go in and adjust members, groups, and I may be working with this myself. So going back to the dashboard, 
take your time, look through all of this carefully, make sure you understand what we're doing. I apologize for logging out on that, but you can go back. And I will say some of these things they've changed from last year, not much, but it is, I can tell there is some different buttons, bells and whistles, but that's what you expect from these online programs. They adjust and make adaptions on this frequently. So we'll be going over this more. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at this time. Thank you.